What's going on guys? Now Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm taking a look at the uh, next episode in My Little Pony Season 8. Uh, this is episode 17 titled The End and Friend. Uh, so, sounds like we're going to have another friendship issue. It's just going to be a matter of uh, um, who's having the friendship problem in this one. Um, I'm guessing it's probably going to be someone among the main six. Uh, we'll go ahead and see. So let's go ahead and get started and see what happens. Oh. What is that dress? Rarity! Just the pony I'm looking for. Can you come to Twilight's class with me? It won't take long. Oh, I'd love to help. But I have to meet Rainbow Dash for our day of fun together. Twilight wants to use you oh, as an oh, example for the, the students. Characters. Your example is here! <laughs> oh! I thought I was the example. You both are. Because together you perfectly demonstrate my lesson on compromise and friendship. Rainbow Dash and Rarity have very different interests that keep them busy. But being friends is so important to them, they always manage to make time for each other. <laughs> Our day of fun was hard to plan. What with Rainbow Dash's extremely time-consuming and erratically scheduled Wonder Bolts practice. And Rarity's weird fashion seasons. She's working on her winter collection, and it's not even summer yet. But you still found time to be together, and that's what counts. See, class? These ponies are models of true friendship in action. Thanks for so stopping So what goes by. wrong? Enjoy your day of fun. Ooh, ooh! What amazing stuff are you going to do together? I'll Shooting shopping. races! Blood swapping! Yep. Oh, well, that's it. On. I even said shopping that time. Perfect. We'll go shopping first. But I brought stuff for Buck Bolt. Are we supposed to be learning something here? Because this doesn't sound like compromising at all. Yeah, you guys have nothing in common. How can you be friends? Oh, God. <laughs> My little pony. All right, then. So it's going to be Rainbow Dash and Rarity. That's a definitely an interesting pair. Like that's like that actually makes sense. It's like Rainbow Dash and Applejack going at each other all the time. You know, that that makes sense just because of how competitive both of them are. But it's like Rainbow Dash and Rarity. Like he does have a point that they. Are pretty Even far apart. And Rarity enjoy doing different things. There are plenty of reasons why they're friends. Uh, like what? We've always been friends. Always? Well, no, not always, but for like a super long Barrow. time. That sounds and like a new name. The same ponies. Um, is that it? There was that time. During the Cloudsdale Best Young Flyer competition, and I totally saved Rarity's life. Yes, and I once proved Rainbow Dash's innocence to her beloved Wonderbolt when she was being framed for a mysterious incident. The callback. Cool. Okay. What else? <laughs> That's it. Ah, uh, look. It may seem like Rarity and Rainbow Dash don't have that much in common when you try to put it into words, but sometimes friendships can't be explained. You just have to see them in action to understand. Actually, that's a great idea. No, that's not. Twilight? What are you doing? Twilight. Just go about your day of fun as you normally would. You won't even know we're here. Game on! Yeah, definitely won't. Darling, wearing this drab jersey gave me an idea for a buckball inspired line of athleisure wear that would allow for maximum flexibility and style. But I'm ready now. <laughs> Good, because this time I'm going to try something new and super intense. He's still drawing. Holy crap! Well, that would even matter. It would have went straight through the bucket. But you have to catch the ball. 
Really? Well, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> it is when you when Rainbow oh, kicks it that fast. fast. She's never gonna understand the point of this game. Football time is over. <gasps> Finally. Uh, see, they did something Rainbow Dash likes, so now it's time for something Rarity likes. Compromise. Hmm. I'm genuinely not sure. Are they too in style? Uh, isn't that what you want them to be? Yes, yes, but they should be ahead of the curve. If they're in fashion right now, then that's too much glitter, girl. Out. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I should get the stilettos instead. What do you think? <laughs> Unless you like dripping with every step, heels on a horse are pretty useless. Mm, thank you. Oh, oh my god. They are perfect in a multitude of situations. Formal functions, afternoon teas, evening teas, high tea, tea by the sea, royal tea. Can they clean up glitter? Ew, it's on my hooves. <laughs> are we done yet? Ah. Oh. This is so you got on your cheek. boring! Rainbow Dash and Rarity are just, uh, showcasing an aspect of friendship called banter. The playful and friendly exchange of remarks. <laughs> it's all in good fun. The way she did the air quotes was so cute for some reason. I cannot wait! Collecting gemstones is my favorite! Finally! Something we can agree on! Treasure hunting! <laughs> Every creature that didn't take long. Now they're having a great time together. Magnifique! This will be perfect for the emerald encrusted romper I've been working on. <laughs> cool! Now, what would be even cooler is if we could find a treasure chamber or something. Now, if I were a secret door, where would I be? Uh, Rainbow. My concentration. <gasps> Look, a lever. That's my lever. And stuck. Come help me, Rarity. Just a moment. Oh. Oh shit. Oh god. Uh oh. E that yeah. This day of fun is officially over. Fine by me. Maybe I can spend some time doing something I actually like now. <gasps> <laughs> Surely you don't mean that. You're just having a little disagreement. Sometimes that happens between pals. But no matter what, they can always get past the problem and stay good. Yeah, they, they didn't have I don't think we can. <laughs> you care about of the things I like. It's always about you and your boring fashions. Oh, please. You don't even give my interests a chance. You have absolutely no respect for the finer things. No respect, I tell you. Oh, God. Those were just not friends anymore. <sighs> God, if I could write that down, really. And then there was the time Rainbow Dash called my Cloud Del Couture Boutique idea impractical. Imagine that! Just because I needed Twilight to perform the butterfly wing spell on me whenever I wanted to deliver merchandise. And I told her a thousand times, pick a side don't even want restricted They're in the same room. We need to be able to fly. On the same couch. Uh, not to mention the day oh, cool, they actually got the glitter on there. I was just about to ask about that. Rainbow Dash didn't even notice. The wonderful show was ruined. Rarity's hat was blocking every pony's view. Told you. I called it. Guidance counseling is for talking out your problems, not telling me everything that's ever happened in the history of Equestria. <laughs> <sighs> but I've learned sometimes talking isn't enough. You need to put yourselves in one another's shoes. No, where <laughs> am I wearing those? Ugh. What I'm saying is we need a way to help you to reconnect. Follow me. It's great that Starlight's the one. The library? Eh, 
trying to help them fix their friendship when she had trouble making friends books. early on. Never stops talking about daring do adventures, and you're a huge fan of Shadow Spade mysteries. Your point. The perfect way for you two to reconnect as friends is to read each other's favorite book. I'll read them too. Then we'll all discuss afterward. It'll be a good friends book club. Okay? I'll bring snacks. Ugh, fine. If you insist. <laughs> Great! We're all here. To start, why don't you two share one thing you liked about each other's books? Well. Okay. I'll go first. Uh, I really enjoyed the part in Daring Do and the Razor of Dreams when Daring used a vicious Cragodile as a raft, and then... <laughs> Please? Uh, what's so funny? Oh, sorry. It's just that I find those action sequences so ridiculously over the top. But they're real! You even met Daring Do! Yes, but the book's descriptions just drag on. And what about all those silly, unpronounceable names? Dr. Hoozy, what's it? Caballero. Oh my god. Caballero! Just like it looks! How hard is that? A tea? Any pony? Cucumber sandwich? <laughs> or we could go over some it's going so well. friendly talking points. <laughs> Seriously? Don't even get me started on those clothing descriptions in Shadow Spade. What a yawn fest! The outfit descriptions are an integral part of the plot of the Cult in Crimson, a Shadow Spade mystery. <laughs> you see, if you didn't know that Sir Flubbingsworth von Radishfield wears only silk double-breasted waistcoats, you'd never deduce that he, in fact, was a culprit. Wait, he was? <gasps> you didn't even read it! I can see I'm gonna need reinforcements. Yeah. Not my fault it's so boring it put me to sleep. If you can't be bothered to read the thing I like, that just further illustrates the point that we have nothing in common anymore. <gasps> At least we agree on that. From now on, I'm only hanging out with ponies who get me. <gasps> Your drama can wait. Twilight needs help. Now! <laughs> Yeah, what's going on? A any luck? No, it's gone! What's gone? The amulet of Aurora. <gasps> One of the magical items you've been keeping for Princess Celestia? That amulet can reverse the tides and summon tsunamis. If it falls into the wrong waves, Equestria will be in grave danger. Don't worry, Twilight. I know tons about searching for lost treasure. And if I follow the culprit's clues, I'm certain I can find who took your amulet. Thank you. I'll feel so much better knowing you two are looking for it. Together. While we were yeah, she set that up. It's the perfect solution. Well, let's explain that. Okay. But appear to be no so why is there an amulet that does that? Surrounding artifacts, suggesting the thief did not leave in a hurry. Makes me wonder if there's like... That's their way of saying there was other alicorns that controlled other things. Sparkles all over the floor. That's not from my boots. Mine are magenta, not blue. See? <gasps> I mean, really. <sighs> Turns out these boots were not made for trotting, as advertised. <sighs> Don't you see? The amulet of Aurora is made out of azurantium! Azurantium? You know, the same metal that the amulet of atonement from Daring Do Book 4 is made from? It always leaves sparkles wherever it goes. Just like this, remember? It's from the book you just read. <laughs> that book, yes! The one you didn't read I it. Just, uh, just read. <laughs> Seriously? After giving me all that grief, you didn't read mine either? Oopsie. <laughs> as soon as we find this amulet, we are done with each other. My, my, me!
Not a hoof. Are those claw marks? Who cares? I found a bigger clue. I hope you don't expect me to uh, wade through that. Hmm? Nah, it's too deep. We'll get stuck. Ooh, clever. Uh, what daring do book did you get that from? Actually, I learned it at Scootaloo's Philly Guides Camp. <laughs> oh, at least you can fly across. <gasps> nope. If one of those geysers burns off my wing feathers, I'll be out of the Wonder Bolt for weeks. Uh, I could try and slingshot my way through, but I need two perfectly placed trees, some stretchy rope, and a pith helmet. Uh, too bad we can't do what Daring Do did in Book 4 and find a Kragodile for a raft. Ta-da! The SS Kragodile's at your service. How? Uh, that is awesome! I mean, it's alright, I guess. How did you know how to do that? We may have been friends for a super long time, but you don't know everything about me yet. Glitter trail, it's gone. How are we supposed to find the amulet of Aurora now? Uh, what? What? Okay, though. What are you waiting for? Go what on. the fuck? <laughs> Symbols fairly familiar. Is right here. What? I couldn't decide between the boots and the stilettos, so I got both. My God, Rarity. High heels can do that, and you call them useless. I shouldn't have said that, or made fun of the other stuff you like to do. Some of it's actually sort of neat. I 
Oh, you an apology too. Buckball may not be my thing, but it's something you enjoy, and you're very good at it. I never should have treated your interests like they were worth less than mine. So, does this mean we're still friends? I would very much like that. Now let's go find that amulet! Yeah! <laughs> Tunnel leads to the school? Yep, a knew it. Secret passage! Awesome! <laughs> that cat, that fella was like, the oh, fuck is going you? on? You stole the amulet of Aurora? I had a feeling. Those footprints looked a lot like spikes. You mean this was a setup to make us get along? Sorry to interfere, but you both really needed it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> You two are friends again? <laughs> Always. I think we just needed a cheesy reminder. Yeah, we don't have to love the exact same things to have fun together. I mean, imagine if we did. How boring would that be? When we give each other a chance to share the different things we enjoy, it can be surprisingly wonderful. Oh, too bad we wasted our day of fun. We still have a little time left. You wanna go hit the shops? I could actually use your help picking out some new buckball gear. Oh my god, really? But only if you help me choose some buckball fan attire so I can cheer for my favorite player at the drop of a fabulous hat. Uh, yeah! Let's go already! <laughs> I absolutely know something that. See? Good friends always work through their differences, <laughs> even if it takes a little help. Okay, there's some cute, like, little horse noises and shit going on in there. <laughs> oh, man. So, that obviously wasn't the first time or first episode we've had where, you know, some of the main six have gone mad at each other. And uh, they even said they weren't going to be friends with each other anymore. Um, it's happened quite a few times. Um, but out of all of them, I would probably say this was probably my favorite episode in terms of that happening. Because usually it was like, uh, what was it? One, it was, like I said, I don't know if I can really count Applejack and Rainbow Dash. Maybe earlier in this in this same season, um, when Applejack and Rainbow Dash kind of went at it, but that was more of a, you know, again, that was more of them their competition uh, type thing. So that it wasn't really them, you know, trying to not be friends. Um, but that's just how they are. So you know, that's that's one thing. Then there was, I think, season six. Was the one that had um, Pony Point of View, I think it was. It was either six or seven, might have been seven actually. Uh, where Rainbow Dash, uh, or uh, not Rainbow Dash, uh, Applejack, Pink Pie, and Rarity all got mad at each other after going um, going on the boat. And, you know, that one was definitely interesting. Uh, but, you know, in terms of. Like th this was probably the most, the more realistic one that I've seen. Like, because like I said earlier, Rainbow Dash and Rarity really don't have anything in common at all. They're like completely different ponies. So th I can definitely see this happening. Um, but it was that plus just again a lot of like cute moments in this. I really enjoyed it. Um, I've never heard that writer's name before. I already forgot what it was. I think it's a new guy, but he I think he did a pretty good job with this one. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. And in again, like in terms of uh, season eight episode, you know, it's not my it wasn't my one of my favorites, but it wasn't bad. I, you know, I liked it, but that's about it. But in terms of, you know, these one of the friendship problems among the main six it was my favorite one of those um 
So anyway, that was um, uh, episode 17, The Inned Friend. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy. Subscribe.